Joe is having a rough time with the the uh, the reckoning that uh, that's happening right now. <laughs> oh, to the comedians? <laughs> no, just the cancel culture. The 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 we were talking about this earlier. How you know the you know the cancel culture is run amok. It's like it's like the second people start the shit up on on Twitter, which is the new version of the picket line. You're done. That's it. You're you're out. I mean, they tried to do it to Chappelle, uh, and they tried to do it to Call Louis, the but they, those guys have so much money and so much clout that mm -hmm. Louis was like, "Fuck it, I'll go to Poland and do shows." I was like, "Well, that's nice if you're Louis, you know." Chappelle's right. doing those fucking <laughs> Chappelle's doing those doing those American History X shows out in Ohio <laughs> on his on his farm <laughs> on his lawn on, on his lawn. <laughs> But I mean, <laughs> if you're not Chappelle or Louis, it's like, what the fuck are you going to do, man? You know, it's I, I don't know, man. I'd rather just work in a fucking uh, bodega, like you guys said, it just <laughs> a quiet life. Yeah, well, it's it's got to run amok before it finds some kind of balance. But I, I think it'll find some balance. You, I mean, I don't know, man. I thought it was that I said I said to somebody today, uh, if a fucking pandemic couldn't teach us all how fragile and fleeting life is and that we need to fry the bigger fr fish and not worry about if fucking Chris D'Elia uh, hit on a 19 year old girl at some point. Like, I I'm like, I don't know what will, like, I don't know. I Listen, I'm a, I'm all for justice. What I don't like is this public stoning that happens before anybody's got proof on anything. Nobody steps back, takes a breath and goes, well, hold on. Let me just, what happened here? Let's talk about it for a minute. That's the part that freaks me out, man. There is no more. I, because, I don't know. It's weird. But it's, you know? it's because it's because it's not really about. It's really not about what they're saying. I I say this all the time: is people people want to be in conversations that they don't give a fuck about. That's what, the problem. What do you, they what wanna, do you mean by that? They they wanna they want validation in the context of their life when they don't deserve validation. See, before, like you said, before social media, you had a situation where people would do certain things. At, like, be, be, if you was a bum and you was nobody, you shut your mouth, you, 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 you wrote your letter to John Wayne, and it, it was in a big sack, it was in a big burlap sack that nobody read it. And you, you felt good that you sent the uh, that you sent the letter, even though you never got a response. And if you did get a response, what did you get? You got you got a, 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 a letter mm -hmm. back, a form letter, a form letter back. And you were happy that mm -hmm. somebody even sent you a form letter. That's right. what happened. You man school 202 better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either I'm just a better man better man